Welcome! In Power BI, the DAX function rank X can be used to rank items based upon a condition. But sometimes when you rank the items, you end up with a tie. For example, you may have two items tying for third place. You then need to make the decision as to whether you want the next place to be ranked as fourth or whether you want to skip the fourth place and rank the item fifth. Let's have a look at how this can be done. Here we have some financial data. We have product, their sales, their gross profit and their gross profit margin. And we would like to rank the products based upon their gross profit margin, with the product with the highest gross profit margin being ranked number one. To do this, we will set up a new measure. So across in products, click to select new measure. I will call the new measure rank and say it equals, and we will use the DAX function rank X. We want to look at all products, so we select all products, product, close our bracket, comma, and then we put in the item which we wish to use as the basis for our ranking, which in this case is our gross profit margin. So we put in gross profit margin, close our brackets, and then submit it. Making sure my table's selected, I now add my rank to the table. As you can see, we've now got ranking. Let's sort them into numerical order. As you can see, it's worked. We have 79% being the highest profit margin and it has been ranked number one. So all looks good. If you look down the column, you will see that there are two items rank sixth and then there is no seventh place. It jumps to eight. If you would like a seventh place to be shown, then we need to change our measure ever so slightly. So I will go back to the rank measure and for demonstration purposes, I will set up a new measure by copying what's in our rank measure Set, create the new measure, paste in the rank measure and change its title to rank dense and you will see in a moment why I've used that word. In rank X after gross profit margin you put a comma and you will see a pop-up box appear and that lets us know that there are other arguments that can be put into this function. We can use value, order or ties and we want ties. So what we need to do is keep putting in commas till we get to the ties section. So a second comma, a third comma and then it lets us select our tie and we will look at the den setting. So submit our measure with our table still selected, add our rank dens to the table by clicking on the box there. As you can see with rank dens, we still have a tie for sixth place, but the next position is seven. As such, the 10th position drops out. The last example I will show you is skip. So again, if we copy our rank dense measure, create a new measure, just purely for demonstration purposes here. And this time I will call my measure skip and I will change the end of it to skip. Once the measure has been submitted, we can add it to our table. Just click the box to add it. 
And there we go. You can see that for rank skip, it is identical to the rank column. Where we have the tie on six, that still appears, but we then jump to eight. The reason for this is that in the rank X with no extra parameters, the default is to use the skip parameter. So this is why we see these as identical. So when you admit the ties parameter, you automatically end up with the skip as the default. I hope you find this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to hear more from me, please click the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.